Oh my goodness. Welcome back everyone to RimWorld where we have an 11 year old wag male. Yes, yes please. We're gonna have to build all sorts of awesome things to keep that wag male alive. But uh, yes, absolutely 100% yes. Ah, this is good times. Uh, we're gonna have to train it though. And I'm thinking probably we're going to be sending this over to Dark Avac so Dark Avac can be the trainer. Uh, right, as for our boomerangs, we can uh, thin the herd a little tiny bit, perhaps. Um, as for the huskies, meh, let's thin the herd there as well. Aries, Alvira, and Carolina can all go. Um, in fact, all of the the newborns can can go they're not trained uh, we can also let well actually the calves can stay i suppose um uh, we will eventually get a decent amount from them as for everything else we're still going to be making a fair bit of money because i'm selling one ai personical there we go i accept we'll make a decent chunk of cash and a decent chunk of other things as well setting up a couple of new uh, miners there. Good times are these. Let's uh, make sure that's being uh, broken down. Unfortunately, we, we lost all of our power and then, yeah, lots of other things went on and, and we're, we're kind of struggling for power right now. Right at this precise moment, power is a thing that we're lacking, but it is not necessarily a thing that we can't easily get more of thanks to uh, the amount of resources that we have available to us. Now, Horror Story, what are you up to? Holding rice. You know what you're not doing anymore is holding rice. You are, in fact, working on this. It's Horror Story one of the only people that we've got who does primary hauling? Um, yeah, I'm going to pop you down to two so that you'll actually get on more with uh, making components, please, and thank you. There we are. Okay, so how's Dark Avak and Kaya doing out here? Uh, not too terribly bad, eh, actually. Can I make... All of these get hauled in as a priority. Are there any more around? Have we got any more elsewhere? Because right now he's just popping out in order to get enough to make one pemmican, which isn't exactly the best setup in the universe, or even at all, thinking about it. Uh, walled off that little area just so that people wouldn't uh, necessarily have to see the rotting wolf, because it's not going to rot for quite some time, unfortunately. Uh, right, what are you off? off to now you are cleaning yeah how about how about no to that one Let, let's i i made that so people wouldn't have to go out there uh what are you up to now then uh you are see half singing wild heel root oh, okay fair enough sure that's uh that's actually a fairly good thing to be doing let's get all of that in please we've got a lot more out there now because kaya has been very very good at what she's been doing uh, okay, generally speaking, things are going remarkably well. Uh, Dark Alec, could you refuel this for me? Please and thank you. Psychic Drone. Every colonist of the male gender winces in pain. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. Well, that's not so great. Let's have a look at you. Psychic Drone Medium. Honestly, that's going to be... It's going to have a hard time pulling your mood down because you're in such a good mood generally all the time right now. Though I'm constantly walking in dirt in here. Hmm... We've got a little bit more time to make some more pemmican, but uh, I'm wondering if really that, that time is, is being used well. I think with all of this food here, pemmican is the best option because it's so light, but at the same time, we could make some simple meals as well. Okay, do until you have... how many? Let's, let's say a hundred still. Keep a hundred of them. At all times. I think that would be... Oh, Kai is actually close to breaking. Hungry. Well, have food then. It's not like we don't have loads of it. I don't quite understand. Uh, you're making some of that. Where are you off to now? You are... Gonna eat some pet. You didn't want this... Wow. You really didn't want the simple meal. I'm actually a little bit surprised by that, honestly. Quite surprised. I'll, 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 I'll be honest there, very, very surprised indeed. Janna is no longer sleeping there because, you know, mad and, and Janna never liked the, the super nice room anyway. Uh, we've got a flash storm. Shouldn't be much of a concern for us, to be perfectly honest. We've got more than enough um, solar power now. We should do okay. 
I could help out a little bit more by adding one or two more wind turbines. Hmm. Maybe. We could do that, possibly, but uh, for the time being, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Hello, sorry, what are you working on? You're harvesting some hop plants by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, okay, that's not bad, since it'll allow us to produce even more great stuff. How are you going on the bionic eyes and the scyther upgrades? I really would like the scyther upgrades. If we can get Dark Avak a power arm, and that, I'm, I felt kind of bad because Dark Havoc didn't really get much of an upgrade throughout this season. The first season, he got super upgraded, but uh, this one, not so much. And the next time we visit Dark Havoc, it would be nice to have Dark Havoc in a, in a pretty good way, bionically speaking. Though, the next, just to reiterate, because I get asked this actually quite a lot. The next series, the Alpha 18 series, the first one will be a vanilla run, maybe... Vanilla Plus, maybe with just a few quality of life mods rather than anything that adds new content. I will decide on that because, again, I, I've said a million times, Allow Tool is something that I genuinely consider part of the vanilla game that Tynan just forgot to include. But um, that one is going to be probably tribal. I feel like trying out a tribal run again. So we'll see how that one goes. Horror Story did uh, go to sleep. Oh, that's. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no. People. Peoples, why have you not been making the, the, the panoxicillin? Flurgles, make the panoxicillin as a priority, please. Uh, Rhapsody, everyone. Okay, Rhapsody. Um, um, our chief medic. Horror story. Valerie, I believe. Are you? Yeah, you got the flu. Go there. Flurgles, did you also have the flu? No, you did not. Good. I'm not sure who else did. Let's have a look through. Uh, Janina. Okay, let's get you there. You're going to have to sleep there, I'm afraid. Ugh, not great at all. Alright, Flurgles, we need a good amount of these. Right, okay. We're going to need... Uh, who's our next best medic? Uh, right, Atlas or Wilson, uh, actually. Atlas, I'm going to have you do it. Alright, okay, you're, you're taking care of some of them, good. Can you... Try, uh, okay, well, I would like them all to have operations... Uh, administer noxicillin. There we are. Make sure that they're going well, because this can actually massively bump their, their immunity generation. So, uh, Flugels, if you can just keep on making that for me, then I'll be very happy with that. There we go. Let's get everyone... No, why Why not Janina? Why is Janina being ignored? Um, wow. Oh, okay. It was because Wilson decided you needed food more. Okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll leave the doctors to decide on these things. That's fine. Right. Okay. So we've already boosted immunity to 42%. Hopefully that's going to start moving through very quickly. So noxicillin prevents infection, malaria, sleeping sickness, and plague. Um, it should massively boost their speed towards immunity. I, I, from what I recall, just taking that helps. Uh, well done, KD. Just carry on doing your work there. We actually got to fairly low on that, actually, considering you're meant to keep it up to about 100. Uh, let's get all of this stuff hauled to its correct places, please. And same over here. And generally speaking, things aren't going terribly bad now that Flurgles is actually making plenty of this. There we are. All right, we'll leave you to that. But uh, that was a, that was a pretty nasty thing to uh, see happen. Happen, honestly. Uh, where's Yoko at the moment? Where be my Yoko? Uh, Yoko, what are you up to? Oh, you're hauling. Such a beautiful wag as well. Uh, we've got a bunch of people visiting. It's okay. We totally don't have an outbreak of the pl of the flu. Uh, fairly soon, you'll be all right anyway. Uh, but. Was it Janina? You are in bed, good. Rhapsody, Valerie. They, they were four people who got the flu. Who? Right, Horror Story. You totally need to be resting, Horror Story. Please stay there. For now. There we go. That should. Hopefully, there we are. Good times. Up to 52% immunity there. Got 52% immunity here. The flu is, is progressing very slowly with you now. 
53 there. Janina. You're doing all right. You're up to 53. We might have to give the synthetic heart to you first, actually. Simply because you've already got a uh, artery blockage and we cannot allow that to kill you. No, no, no. I mean, we could, but we won't. Aren't we such good, good colony overlords? I think we are. Why did we just slow down? What the dickens are you doing? Alpha just randomly attacked Atlas. Wow. Okay. Atlas, can you win this? Or are you going to go down? Atlas, I think... Is getting really badly hurt. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, well, that's fine. Uh, who's the nearest person? I don't see anyone nearby. Flugels, need your help right now. Please get in there. Melee attack. No, Atlas is down. I have no idea what went on there, but uh, not going to allow it. Get in there, please. Melee attack. Uh, how badly were they hurt? Uh, Flurgles pull back a little bit. Wilson pull back a little bit. Let them through. Uh, really? Okay, well, fine. Fine, you caused that to happen. Damn it. Okay. Oh, uh, will someone please rescue poor Atlas? Wow, that was just nasty. Not used to that kind of behavior from our visitors. Oh, well. They're not going to be happy with us over that one, but it's not like we did it. Right. Mm, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, how is this going to affect... It's okay. We're, we're going to be upgrading you soon enough anyway. Uh, but we are going to now need some ribs. Do we have ribs already added in here? No, we don't. Uh, you know what, then? Actually, do we even add them there? Doesn't look like we do. Where do we add ribs? We do not add them in here. Do we add them over here? Hmm. Where does one construct new ribs? There we are. I missed them the first time. Uh, we'll make you an adrenal rib. I'll make you a little bit faster. On the whole, how are you doing? Uh, your flu still needs treatment. Let's get everyone treated, please. There we go. Uh, you're fine. Rhapsody is treating you. How is Rhapsody doing? Is okay. I'm general. Uh, generally, sure. Uh, Wilson, is there anyone I need to treat right now? No? Uh, yes, there is. Wilson, could you treat Valerie? Gotta got keep up with, with all of this. There we go. Don't you worry, Valerie. We will keep you healthy. Uh, that should be gone in a little bit. Those should be gone fairly soon as well. And generally, people are up and about and moving around and uh, taking care of themselves, hopefully. Rhapsody... Yeah, we shouldn't have any problem defeating the uh, infections there. Oh, we've got an escape pod. Uh, unexpected, but sure. Um, right, you're 58. You're actually pretty messed up. What kind of character? Psychically dull and abrasive. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not really sure we can do much here. I think we're probably going to have to, uh, yeah, Dark Hour before anyone notices it. Well, I mean, you could, you, uh, uh. damn it. Fine, we could just put it... We will save you. I don't know. We're too soft sometimes. We really are. Go ahead and rescue them. We'll treat them. But we won't... Um, we won't accept them into the colony. You have no time for that. Mad animal as well. Where are you? Uh, just a single muffalo? That's not really a problem for us, I don't think. That's fine. Let them come into the colony. They'll be murdered by my turrets. And then we'll have a little bit more food. Not that we need more food, but, you know, we'll have it. No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid we cannot accept you. 
Good luck on your journey, but uh, no, no, I, I'm afraid you're gonna have to uh, survive or die on your own own uh, own strength alone. Best of luck though, wherever you're going. Um, have they already left? No, they're wandering very slow. I don't think they're gonna make it out of here before they die of hypothermia. Uh, they might do. I, it, it's remotely possible, I suppose. Uh, oh well, best of luck to you. All right, I think I think it's probably high time that we we. Uh, leave now we've spent long enough here we can make a couple more pemmican maybe but uh i think it's time we're probably not gonna be able to carry the majority of the things that we've got here so yeah rather than than making it even worse for ourselves time to move on so right let's form a caravan and this time we're gonna leave in the right bloody direction we're gonna leave to the northeast and everyone is going along there we are, and we are going to start with the super important stuff. We're going to bring the silver, because that's very light. We are going to bring the medicine with us, because obviously. We are also going to bring along the nutroglycerin, simply because, well... Actually, I don't know about that one. We might not, so it will depend on the amount of weight that we can carry. Now these do... Well, actually, I'm not going to take those with us over the simple meals. The simple meals are coming no matter what. Uh, we might have a... No, we don't quite have enough anymore. Bit of a shame that. Uh, I'll not take these then. And instead I will bring... Uh, actually, the berries aren't important to me. Okay, that'll be all we're taking. Oh, apparently we'll drop one. There we go. That's all we're taking. And hopefully it's going to be enough. Uh, we should have enough food for quite some time. Yeah, 29.8 days worth of food. And this food will not perish. A lot of the food is meat. In fact, we are going to drop the, the meals there in order to bring along all of that that we can bring. There we go. Yeah, I think that's a, a better setup for us. We aren't going to be bringing along a bunch of things that we could sell. And that is a bit of a shame, but, uh, well... Uh, the longer that we can just travel without having to stop, the better for us it's generally going to be. So, except it's going to take a little while for the caravan to ready up. And it looks like they're generally going to be just hanging out there. So hopefully, yeah, of course they're going to be outside. But actually, some of the time they're going to be inside, so that's fine. Let's get everything in there. Wow, that is super fast. I approve. Enormous levels of approval there. That was extremely efficient. I am really quite quite happy with that. Of course, it's going to take June and age to get to where they need to be. Uh, well, that being said, June is actually incredibly fast, so maybe not. All right, let's head back. Now then. Animals, where is Chaos? Oh, what a fantastic name. What a fantastic name. You're going to be... Honestly, you're going to be hanging around the home. Now, what I really should have been doing all this time is making all of these amazing things. Liver, kidneys, stomach, brain stimulator, four legs. Actually, I think we've already got one. Uh, spine and a jaw. Also, we'll, we'll transplant the tail as well when we get a chance. So let's uh, get on to that. Mental sta state... Uh, break days. I honestly read that as dark. I was like, ooh, is that kind of a new mood? There are a lot of new moods in the um, in the Alpha 18. But I don't think we've got any kind of macabre moves. More's the pity, really. More is the pity. Estimated time to destination, 4.6 days. But that's based on, on how quickly they would normally move. And that's not really how we're going to be going there. Let's... Uh, right, if we want to get over to this and see the route that they're going to take. Uh, what route are you taking? Are you going up there? Yes, they are. Okay. So, let's swing all the way back and see the path you intend to take through here. Honestly, I'm thinking up here would probably be within range, but once we get through this mountain range here, it's kind of clear sailing, I would think. Is this 60 tiles? Is the question. As the crow flies. Uh... It might, might be. You know what? Maybe we'll try and get there. That'd be great. If we could make it all that way, past these three mountain ranges, that one, that one, and that one, and that would cut our travel time 
down significantly getting any further. So, uh, sure, begin the trek and enjoy. Enjoy yourselves. You've got loads of food. You should be in a fairly high spirits. I mean, you're not really happy with Dark Havoc right now. You've been kind of co cooped in a box. And Dark Havoc isn't particularly happy with it. Your rivals, that's, that's the worst thing in the world. But uh, June should be fine. Um, Yoko, fine. Generally speaking, fairly happy with everything. You're all in fairly good states of health, I would say. Let's have a look at this. Got a colonist uh, needs treatment. What happened there? You all right? You need to go and get treated, please. Go, go, go. Wilson, could you prioritize t treating people? Let's get this done. There we go. And feeding them. And the next person, no. And, okay, Valerie, no. Janina, yep. There we are. And well done. Okay, that's good. Rhapsody, how are you doing with the flu? 88% immunity, good. Janina, mm, 89, actually even better. And 91. Well done, Horror Story. Doing very, very good there. Very good indeed. Uh, generally speaking, everything is going well. I mean, at this point, the only thing that could really scupper our plans is a really unfortunate raid. But uh, the odds of that happening are reasonably slight. Oh, no. As I say that, we have Janina's ex-lover shows up. Oh, dear. And it uh, looks like they immediately but destroyed an Arctic Fox. Uh, fair enough. Oh, dear me. Well, that is going to be an unfortunate, uh, rather unfortunate setup there. You know what? You can just all be in home. Um, actually, no. Yoko will let. Uh, restricting colonists to home, though. This is going to be an interesting little fight here. How much damage can you do before they... Oh, wow. They've done more damage to themselves. Wow. That is glorious. It forced them to use up their, their most terrifying of all weapons. Um, yeah. That was pretty, pretty rough. We will try and rescue you if we get the chance. But wow. Just wow. Oh, that silver. And it wasn't us who did it. We'll get blamed for it, however, but... Still, I forbid that all of that, please. Also, we're going to want to finish off you, you. Actually, no, don't finish you off. We want to stick you in a, uh, into, oh, really? They're just going to sit outside there? Well, hopefully they, they come through, but uh, we'll see how that goes. We could go out there and take a, a few shots of them. A couple of them are badly wounded. They might actually just die on their own at this point. You know what? Let's speed this along. All of them. Aim about there. Janina, let's get you manning the mortar. Flurgles as well. Atlas. And yeah, you, you know what? Just take out your X level. It's, it's fine. It'll go grand. That is unfortunate, all of that going on. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you should be able to drop a couple of shots on them. There we go. One down. Come on. Be a little bit better at the beginning of the assault. Okay, well, these can stop forced attack, and you guys can go about your business. Really, all we needed to do was force them to, to come to us. That is super unfortunate, though. I mean, the silver isn't going to burn. At the very, well, actually, maybe the silver will burn. I'm not sure. The silver could melt. Uh, I think I think they, they took one more hit, and then they, they bailed. I'm all right with that. Completely all right with that. Uh, Chaos, you stick to the home. Everyone else, unrestricted. And now we need to do this pretty quickly. Wilson, ah, oh, they died. Well, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Uh, we would have liked to have tried to save you, I promise. But uh, not too much we can do about that now. Okay. Get on out there. Grab what you can, where you can. It's always a shame when guests die. Uh, we're, we're still getting cargo pods at this... <laughs> There's no one here anymore. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Um, I'm actually just going to tell them to abandon this place. Uh, go ahead, abandon it. We don't need it anymore. Though, abandoned faction base. Uh, yeah, you can revisit it. That's actually kind of cool. 
I'll be honest with you, I wasn't expecting that. I was I was kind of expecting as soon as we went out that it would all be uh, over with, but uh, no, no, it doesn't quite work that way. Very well. Uh, there's no one we can save out there, unfortunately. It looks like the uh, the silver is safe, though. Uh, we'll go ahead and put and uh, put you out of your misery if we can. But yeah, we just made a lot of silver very very easily. Kind of feel bad about the way we made it, but uh, there's not so much we can do about it at the moment. What are we working on right now, if anything? Oh, we are making more can fuel, I believe. Extreme break risk. Uh, well, as soon as you've had some noms, I imagine, and put on some clothes, you should be good. There you go. Things are better. Hooray! Well, it's horror story working on right now. Yeah, refining more can fuel at the moment, which I'm particularly happy with. There we go. It takes a little bit of work, but we do get a decent amount of can fuel out of it. And soon we'll have all of this set up. How are our caravan, our caravaneers doing? They're actually doing quite well. They're making some reasonable progress. 10 day, point one days to their estimated time to the destination. I really can't quite believe that, honestly, but uh, okay. Base movement time. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe all of this is under mountains. Maybe that was part of why it took so long. Hard to say, really. But you've got plenty of time and loads of food still. I'll just be keeping an eye on that every now and then, because Yoko does have a rather large appetite, bless her. Flurgles, Rhapsody needs help. She's being chased by a fox. Oh, Rhapsody, why did you go in there? You fool! You fool, Rhapsody, flee! Oh, no. Oh, no, that's super bad. Rhapsody, don't die. Rhapsody, Rhapsody, flee. Ra Rhapsody isn't even going to fight back. Oh, my goodness, this is bad. Uh, I thought a raid was going to be the worst thing, but no, no, actually, it's a bloody fox. Uh, you actually punched it too. Are you fighting it back? That's actually impressive. I didn't think you would ever fight fight something back. Okay, just get in position, and start shooting it, please. Oh, please shoot better. Shoot much better. You know what? There we go. That's what we need to see. Another one like that. There we go. Oh my lord. Ah, flugels. Thank you. Thank you very much. Caravan has been ambushed, manhunters! Oh no! Oh no! We're being ambushed by two manhunting rabbits! We're doomed! Doomed! They're gonna attack us with big pointy teeth and everything! Uh, right, okay. Uh, I think, I think June is actually just grazing. Well done. Alright, kill it, please. Just, just slay it before it rips its throat out. It might actually. Please, slay. There we go. Victory! In one day, the caravan will automatically be reformed. You can reform the caravan now in the world screen. Yeah, I think we will. There we have. You got a, you got a bruise. Uh, you got a little bite mark. Um, can you treat yourself? Tend to yourself. Just go ahead and, and sort that out before we leave. I think Yoko's about to go and have a fight. No? Oh, well done, Yoko. Uh, what we could do is grab some extra berries for the the road. I suppose that's something we could do. Uh, we've got another electrical fault, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, we should probably kill that thing, though. Mm. Uh, no, I don't really think we need to, to worry too much about, about that. Let's just go ahead and reform the caravan. Yep, yep, the everything, please. Uh, sure, we'll take those if we can. Yeah, all right. And accept. There we go, the caravan has been reformed. And continue on your way to about here, please. I think that's where we needed to be. Womp. 8.8 days to go. Day oh, what? We've sent How have we got only 3.8 days of food now? See, this is the problem. Is We had ridiculous amounts of food before. But all of a sudden, we do not. Why? Why don't we have that food? We, we had amazing amounts of food previously. And now it's suddenly really, really low? I don't get that. I really don't get it. And it happened the same way. We stopped off there and then suddenly we were out of food. Mm. That I'm not happy with, I'll be honest with you. Uh, gear, let's see what people are carrying. Items. Got ridiculous amounts of pumpkin. Ah, it looks like... All of our meals perished? 
despite it being cold enough to preserve them for ages? Huh. Okay. Well, all right then. Uh, we're going to have to make a, a shorter trip. We've got 3.8 days of food. Let's see how far we can get in that time before we need to break for camp again. Uh, you know what, we'll get over to this crossroads and we'll stop there. But that does, that does disappoint me a bit. Oh well. We'll get on with it. Caravan 1 has arrived at its destination and has... Uh, days of food, 3.8. Rot in 0 0.5 days. So, yeah, I guess that's the reason then. We're, we're no longer in yeah we're no longer in winter we're, we're in september so our food is not always going to stay as fresh as we might like uh very well well what we can do then is set up a, a little camp right here we'll quickly throw this together much as we did with the last one we've got a decent amount of pemmican but yoko unfortunately is not going to have much food here so we're going to have to make regular stops to cull the local animal population wherever we can and <gasps> achilles how how achilles how did you escape my lord that's wondrous very well uh, okay, so we've got a couple of things we need to do here then. First and foremost, let's get all of these trees uh, chopped. There we go. And as soon as that's been done, we're going to need a little storage stockpile area about here for all of our stuff. There we go. What are you guys up to? You, you chopping things? Are you wandering? Are you just, you know, going for a walk? Okay, well, that's fine. Doc, I'm really sorry, but you need to do this stuff while you want to sleep. I know, I know, it sucks. It is life. Right, I'm also going to need to be able to see where that storage is, so let's turn that on. And now that we've got that all highlighted, let's build this place up. Now, over here, we will have our rooms. We want a wooden door there, we want a wooden door here. And we'll make... You know what? Since the last place, you, you seemed to kind of be grating on each other's nerves a bit. We'll give you something a little bit better, all right? A little wee bit better than the last time. You can't say fair... That, well, you can... Uh, you shouldn't say anything about whether this is good or bad. Because, frankly, it's generous of me to even do this. All right, there you go. Uh, we'll also pop that in there. We'll have a nice little room in here. And we can store all of our stuff in this room. Uh, I may as well just go all out and, and set this up the way I want it to be. So we'll have that there, that there. There we go. In fact, we'll actually have the mosaic floor in your bedrooms. We will have a regular floor in here, and then we'll have barn floor out there. That will give us a bit of something to use. Now, it's going to be a while before we can get all of this done. So for the time being, I'm really, really sorry to say, you don't get any sleep time. You can sleep when you're dead right okay dark havoc do you actually need sleep no you don't so crack on kaya crack on as well let's get all of this done kaya you can take joy still oh, dark havoc, really you're like yeah i just want to relax you guys suck so bad yoko's the only one of you who does any bloody work my goodness. But okay, well, we're getting this thrown together. There we go. Now you've realized there's work to do. You're getting it done. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Or maybe it was. I don't know. Ooh. A flash storm. Hmm. Not so great, actually. You've also got low medicine, so hopefully we can uh, prepare some more of that. At the very least, let's get this place all set up. Come on now. As soon as Kaya wakes up, it'll be a little bit better. KD's just come out of the days, I see, and is bloody hungry. Poor KD. Hey, is Dark Alvis snoozing? Yeah, you are. And that's dumb. I really wish you wouldn't. Kai, have you had enough rest now? Yeah, you have. Crack on. I'll let you rest for a little bit of time. There we go. Well done. Let's get more of this, this sorted. Because we, we do want this set up as fast as possible. There we are. And as soon as they've got all of this... Um, ah, see, the food is rotted. Oh, that's bloody annoying. How are you doing? You're okay for now. We won't we won't uh, make this a massive priority just yet, then. Uh, I want a dumping stockpile just outside. Just for corpses. 
so chunks and corpses, sure. Allow rotten. And uh, actually, only corpses that are below 100% hit points, which means they're rotting. There we are. Also, I think it'll also mean if something's taken a couple of chunks out of it already, but you know, we're not going to worry too much about that. There we go. Let's get all of this sorted. You're actually making fairly good progress, to be fair. I'm reasonably impressed, guys. Actually making very good progress. There we go. We've got some roofed in areas. It's nice and dark. Good times are these. Let's continue with the work where we can. There we are. Okay. Getting some progress made now. Actually remarkably good how, how uh, quickly you guys can get something like this built. Uh, let's chop down all of those trees as well. We're going to need uh, a stove anyway, so it makes sense. Uh, what I would like for furniture... Just a bed. We don't need any more than that. Just a single bed. Maybe a nightstand. Just so that you get a decent sleep. Go ahead and make yourselves an end table then. There you go. You can both have one. In here, I am going to want... Uh, in terms of... Well, you can have a small table maybe. About there. Some dining chairs. Square dining chairs. There and there. We will then want production of a butchering table. We'll have butcher table there. Field stove here. In fact, let's cancel these tables and chairs. And we'll move those around a little bit. We can actually afford to have them against the side. I wasn't sure if we would be able to. There we go. And these two. And um, sure. Let's get it. Let's get a torch. Well, it doesn't matter for you to be in those rooms, honestly. But for temperature, we'll, we'll stick with the uh, campfire, I think. Unfortunately, that just looks silly when you rotate it around. Really does. So, we're just going to have it there, I guess. It'll just have to do. We may want coolers, though. Oh, we don't know how to make them. Drat. Damn and blast. Okay, we need a passive cooler. It's not going to take too much time. But if you could work on that, then that would be great. That would be better than great. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Wilson's already cracking on with the research. Good good man, Wilson. Good man indeed. Alright, how are we doing? Most of these have been fairly heavily refueled. Good. Very good. We've got a bunch of stuff being made. Also good. Uh, we are currently working on this. So if you can... Con oh... That's rapid. Never mind. There we are. Crack on. What have we got so far? We've got bionic animal heart, a liver, a lung, a leg, and another lung. Wow, really? Got a couple of eyes. All right. What are you making there? It's a surrogate heart. And over here, you're making a bionic eye. Hmm. Well, I would have liked to have more scythe blades, honestly, but okay. All right. Chaos, then. Where are you? Let's go and find Chaos. Chaos the Warg. Outside. Enjoying. Right. Well, since we've got the materials available, let's install... I'm going to give you a side of the blade tail. You get first pick. Uh, we are then going to install a front right leg. We'll also install the heart, both the lungs, and the li liver... All in one go because it will, generally speaking, reduce the odds of you being... Uh, it will reduce the amount of times we need to put you under. So we'll use less anaesthetic. Although it's probably not a consideration in the game, in real life, the less times you have to put an animal um, under anaesthesis, the better it is, generally speaking. Rhapsody, let's get to work. Actually, how are you? Ah, your eye is messed up. Okay, first and foremost then, no. No, we need to sort out your eye. Um, your right eye. In fact, we could give you... Oops, sorry, wrong one. Yeah, well, we're going to get you sorted first. Rest until healed. Who on earth is going to operate on you, though? Oh, dear me. I have to be Atlas. Atlas, are you okay? Please tell me you are. Oh, no! <laughs> no! This is terrible. This is super bad. The other two eyes were for you. Uh, okay. 
Well, I guess you can rest until healed first, then I'll have Rhapsody operate on you first. Um, good luck. Best of luck, in fact. This is a bad setup. Let's have a look. Um, your chance of surgery. Let's have a find of that. Um, sculpting, smoothing stone cutting. That's not what we're looking for. Research. Uh, medical surgery success chance is 97%. Spare than Atlas is, I'm fairly certain. Which is a lot lower. Where is it? Medical op surgery. Yeah, only 38. So yeah. Rhapsody would be the best person for doing this. Best of luck, Atlas. Hopefully you don't lose too much. Okay, so one eye installed, good. Let's have a look at what that will affect. I mean, you're actually unconscious now, so I can't tell. All right, well, I'm finished Bionic Eye and currently working on a pout. Oh, really, did you nick the tail? Ah, oh, horror story, really? Can you get back to work? What are you doing now? Uh, could you please get back to work? There we go, that's what I wanted. Well, Atlas has got his eyes, so he's no longer, no longer dealing with that. Whole body heat stroke, oh. Okay, uh, yeah, it's actually going up. Um, how hot is it in here? And Atlas is wearing a massive... Uh, okay, let's... Uh, hmm. Actually, can you strip Atlas? Yeah, strip Atlas. It's for, you. It's for the best, Atlas. You were suffering from heat stroke. There we go. The room is warm enough for you. Uh, right, okay, so... Chaos is going to be down for a little while. I'm going to have to take that one off for now, then. Okay. Uh, it's going to take me... Only a little bit more work, actually, to get that ready. So let's crack on with that. And let's go and check how this is going. Uh, it's going quite well, actually. It's going quite well. Let's get a little bit more wood choppering done, though. There we are. Uh, we're going to need an animal area as well, so let's set that up. Animal area one will be in here. And... Um, well, we need somewhere for you guys to sleep, don't we? So we're going to put down... Orders... Uh, sorry, furniture... We don't have the means of making you a good place to sleep at the moment, and I'm very sorry about that. There we are. We don't have any cloth, you see. Otherwise, you would have better beds. But hopefully this will be good enough. There we go. And with that, then, we will finish off the walls on the outside. There we go. Perfect. Right, get that hold out into the dump, please. Also this. Get both of those hold out to the dump, if you would be so kind. Uh, as soon as you, you're ready. There we go. Thank you. Right, passive cooler has been completed. Great. So we can actually pop that in here then. So passive coolers in the corners. I'm not sure if we really need that much, but we'll build it anyway. Hopefully it'll be enough. Uh, Yoko, you're probably starting to... Oh, actually, you probably killed and ate... Some... Yeah, you probably ate a bit of this, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Well done. I approve. Yoko takes care of herself. And Dune can just graze. So, Actually, on that note, I should probably allow Dune access outside so that Dune can graze. It wasn't strictly necessary previously, but... Uh, sure, Dune, you can go out here. There you go. Now, Dune, you are restricted to that. Yoko is not, because Yoko is quite capable on her own. And there we are. Let's get everything moved around, please. There, oh, everything has been moved around. Right, these passive coolers. It'll expire in a little bit, but it should hopefully keep the temperature down in here. I'm hoping. I'm not exactly sure how these work. Um, a traditional unpowered cooler that works by water evaporation will run out and self-destruct after several days. All right. Oh, what did you do? Well, at least you got the heart in there. Okay, don't do anything else. Damn it, Atlas. Damn it all. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off you. Uh, but what is your success chance? Yeah, it's only it's only 48, Atlas. You derp. Rhapsody. Um, 
Oh, oh, damn it. Okay, well, fine. Go and, go and tend to chaos. Uh, what were you trying to install? What did we just waste? I uh, got a liver and a lung, so you wasted a lung. You derp a lip. Oh, well. Gonna have to make another one, then. Um, there we go. We don't have the plasteel for it right now, though. Which is a massive pain. Did you just feed him half of a boar? Okay, you know what? That's great. You, you get a buy. That, that was actually pretty cool. Well done. You know how to, you understand how to take care of wags. I'm very glad to see this. But if only you had not done that, then Rhapsody probably could have uh, taken care of him. <laughs> him. Sorry. Oh well, you know, it's not terrible, I guess. Uh, we lost a lung, we didn't lose chaos, which is the main thing. Alright, we are still going to need a little bit more cam fuel. We've got probably not quite enough to fill it all up, unfortunately. We have, however, I've got a surrogate heart. Ooh, now that is very nice to see. Very nice to see indeed. Uh, you can't, apparently can't work on this. Probably because you were working on the power claw before we ran out of ciders to take apart. Well, dread. Okay, well, we're going to have to get some more ciders then. I could just break this. Yeah, we'll break it down. We'll get some of the components back that way. Two cider bl blades and an adrenal rib is what we want right now. But on the plus side, you know, Atlas is, is pretty good. Uh, let's actually have a look at your health again. No, you're, you're pretty good. I'm a little bit surprised by that. I thought you were all kinds of messed up, but clearly I was looking at somewhere else. So the rib is for you then. And we've got a couple of bionic parts, I think. We've got a bionic leg. So how about we install that in you, eh? At least the person going to be operating on you isn't isn't a derp with how to install bits. All right, let's get that installed. And you can go and rest up there until you uh, have had the operation. As things down here, generally going okay. Still need a bit. We need steel. All right. So there should be somewhere around here that has steel. We'll also grab the components. We'll just pop that there. Find a place with some steel. That'll do. Um, well, we may as well grab this. I was going to say mine all connected veins, but that would make for much more steel than we actually want. Right. As soon as you guys have woken up, we should get to work. On the whole, though, I think you're probably going to be happy with where you're living. Awful bedroom, really? My bedroom is an awful place. Well, yeah, that's actually probably true. Well, no, why? And it's probably just that it's really small. Well, not a lot I can do about that. I can possibly give you a little bit of furniture, but uh, a plant pot, maybe. But that's all I'm going to do for you. There we go. If we can get all of that mined, that would be great. And you can get a... Uh, you can get the stove up and running. And for now, we're going to add bills, butcher cre creatures, do forever, and forever. I mean, just make sure. Drop on the floor. Um, that's good enough there. The second one, butcher creatures. This one is human likes, and should generally not be done unless it is. Dark Avak doing the work. Uh, again, drop it on the floor. We're going to reduce the amount so that it's not done at all for now. As for the really visitors, where they are good, they went to the right place. Because we're not we're not ready to receive visitors, I'm afraid. Right, we can make pemmican. Do forever and make. Um, we could make some fine... No, simple meal. Well, yeah, just make some simple meals. Do until you have a hundred again. There we go. And that should be good. Right, okay, so we need to do a bit of slaying of creatures. You will do. Uh, I may actually just set you guys up to, to go out there and hunt a little bit. What we got over here? A couple of things there that we can hunt. Sure. Yep. How many animals have we got on the... Sorry, wildlife have we got? We're not going to attack the boom rats. That's just silly. But we will attack uh, the bucks, the does, the emus, the hares. All of the hares, ideally. My lord, there are a lot of them. 
Uh, right. Yeah, the Ibex. I may actually just set you up to do hunting. But we'll take out the dangerous animals specifically. Is there a way that I can just click this? No? That is a bit of a shame. Alright. Squirrels as well. Because if I'm setting you up to hunt, you may as well just kill things like this. We've got a couple of dangerous animals. We are not going to take out the tortoises. They're going to be really way more trouble than they're worth. Oh, actually, I suppose so. We do want a lot of meat, actually. Right, the dangerous animals we're not going to go for. Not as hunting. What we're going to do is we're going to grab you guys and we're going to bring you down here and take them out specifically. Okay, Yoko's up for it. All right. Uh, Dark Havoc, you stand ahead. And Kaya, begin the attack. There we go. And Dark Havoc should be able to handle it. There we go. And it didn't manage to do a single thing. Well done, everyone. Okay, next dangerous creature. That's uh, the Red Fox. I wouldn't strictly call it dangerous. Uh, all right. Let's get up there. In fact, we've got the one of the wolves right next door as well. Okay, let's get up there before they decide to take a chunk out of Dune. Not that they should, because Dune is mostly metal. I can't imagine that a wolf is going to be that interested in trying to eat something that, that basically makes clunking noises as it moves around. Uh, let's also grab some more wood as well. Uh, those will do. I think these only require wood. Right, there we are. Yoko, of course, there long before anyone else. All right, Dune, that is unfortunate that you popped out. All right, Kaya, behind Dark Avak, take a shot at the fox. Try and take a better shot at the fox. There we go. Better shots. More shots that are better. Really, fox? And you consider yourself a predator. Take a shot at the wolf. There we go. That's a better predator. Okay, there we are. And you should just be able to... Yoko's like, I don't even need to be there. A wolf against Dark Havoc? No. I'd, I'd frankly insult him if I went to help. Alright, take on the fox. There we are. And again, you might actually take it out. Okay. Go and finish it off. Any other dangerous wildlife? One more timber wolf. Okay, let's get out there. It's not too far away. This will allow us just to uh, casually hunt everything that's left. Uh, we're not going to kill the alpaca. In fact, we could even tame the alpaca. Maybe use it as a... Nah, it would slow us down, honestly. Uh, Dark Avenger, just go, go ahead. Get in there. Melee attack. Let's just speed this up. Uh, Dark Avenger actually did get a scratch. Uh, it's just a little scratch on his torso. It's fine, though. Finish off. And splunk. Good. Now, could you treat yourself? Uh, there we are. Already doctoring. Well done. Okay, well, Kaya... Oh, honestly, I'm, I'm going to tell you both could go and hunt. But Kaya, you're going to hunt when you haven't got too much else to do. In fact, I'm going to put it as a secondary for you. There we are. Ah, good times. Very, very good times over here, I must say. How's everything going down here? Chaos is recovering. Not too bad, you know, out of the, the danger zone. But uh, the, the heart is a good one. We do need a brain stimulator, though, don't we? Um, where would that be? Have we got one down here? Uh, ah, there we are. Brain stimulator is due to be made. Is this going to take a while? We've got liver, lung, new leg... Horror story? Uh, you're not busy at the moment. Can you do anything? No. That's a shame. Horror story is working on an unfinished synthetic heart. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess we're just going to be waiting then. I guess Flugels could... No, we need materials for anything that we want to build there. Hmm. Uh, Scythe blade and the adrenaline rib. What do we need for that? 35 plastine and 5 yayo. We should be able to get those made. In fact, Flugels, could you go and make sure that we've got drugs a plenty and with that though i think we're going to be wrapping up another episode we have gotten one step closer to our goal and it's becoming clear to me that i might want to uh just in case it wasn't spring that did this might want to move through here a little bit faster without stopping because the moment we stop we seem to suddenly lose a lot of food 
That being said, we could head over here and uh, maybe hook up with this little area and trade a bit, possibly. Uh, either way, we're going to be making a branch cross there. And once we get to around here, I'm going to try and shoot the uh, the supplies and, in fact, another person and maybe a wag over there as well. Currently, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be going to be Atlas and Chaos as long as Chaos survives. Hopefully, Chaos does. Oh, I love this. Yeah, chaos eats eats whole prey. You can't just give Chaos a, a piece of meat and expect it to be a balanced diet. You know, you're, you're just holding the carcass there and Chaos is just nibbling the bit that Chaos wants. Oh, this is fantastic. I like it a lot. But that's where we're going to end things. We've got a new wag. Yoko's going to have a mate. And I can think of nothing, no better way to end this series. Regardless of, of the upgrade status of, of anyone, Yoko having a wag companion. That is, that is perfect, as far as I'm concerned. But that is going to be it for now. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.